Yo, what's going on guys? It is me Quirk and welcome back to a brand new episode of the PSG Career Mode. Today we have an important episode because we have the final game in the Champions League versus FC Basel. And look how tight the group looks. We're in first with 9 points. Wolfsburg is in second with 8 points and Basel, who we're facing, is in third place with 7 points. So, we need to win this game if we want to top off the group in first place. So, I did play two games off camera. Both of them were in the league and these were the results. The first game was versus Treyes. We won this game 2-0. The goals came from Mbolo, who scored the first goal and I think the assist uh, was from Rabiot. I'm not really sure, but we scored the first goal with Mbolo and the second goal came from Irving Lozano and it was one of the worst debut goals I've seen in my life. Ronaldo did a great job shooting the ball. The goalie parried it and Irving Lozano, he didn't even shoot it in. He just walked in with the ball and we won that game 2-0 and uh, we got the three points. Now, the second game, we won 5-1. We couldn't keep the clean sheet, but the first goal, I do believe, came from Lucas off a corner kick. I don't know how he did it, he hit that ball in and it was a great goal on his part. Zlatan scored the second goal and um, it was just a crazy goal. He just literally walked in into the goal, uh, moved players around, he just smashed it in. The third goal came from Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, he is back to scoring and he's been on the street. Great job on his part. And the fourth goal came from Verratti off a corner kick, he got the ball and he smashed it in from like... 30 yards out so that was an insane goal and the final goal came from Cristiano Ronaldo and uh, we all know how good he is five goals in one game two from Ronaldo one from Zlatan and the uh, Zlatan also got an assist so those were the results so with those wins this is how we're looking in the league table we're still in first place uh, with 12 wins three draws and one loss we're doing really good but St. Etienne is right behind us and we only have a one-point lead. Olympique Lyon is in third, so the league is very tight between the top three. We only made one change to the squad. Rabiot is coming in as defensive mid. The reason I put him in is because Verratti has a yellow card. And I don't want him uh, to miss the next game if we make it to the knockout stages. So he's coming in as defensive mid. Everything else is the same. Costil is coming in as our Champions League goalkeeper. Defensive line is the best one we have. We have Pastore and Di Maria, the two Argentinians as the center mids. Ronaldo on the left. Ibra as a striker. Lucas on the right. So I'm actually going to switch these two out because I like the way Ronaldo plays on the right. And I love the way that Lucas plays on the left. So this is the squad. Let's get into it. Basel is a team that we haven't yet beaten in this Champions League so we need to win this no matter what we have to win we need to top off the group and that is why I put our best squad to play I'm actually curious to see how Rabiot does as defensive mid in such an important game hopefully this is good experience for him but here we go we win it there great job from Lucas and here's Zlatan on the ball we leave it to Ronaldo Ronaldo is in and it didn't even take three minutes boys Zlatan with the freaking assist <coughs> oh man, I'm freaking sick. Zlatan with the assist. We stole the ball right there. Ronaldo made a great run. He actually catched up to it. And that is freaking 1 0. And we're on pace to beating Basel and getting first place in our Champions League group. We're just going to keep possession. We already have the goal that we need and the three points. There's no point in rushing it. Oh, David Luiz almost lost the ball there. What kind of pass was that? He has to put a little more power behind that. Oh, great ball to Cristiano. Cristiano's in. The Ronaldo chop is through. We leave it to Zlatan, and that is 2-0. How did they leave Zlatan by himself? No, it's not Zlatan, it's Rabiot. I'm going crazy. It's freaking Rabiot. He plays as a center defensive mid, but he freaking scores. Rabiot, great job. Thank God we put him in. He already has an assist in this game. He keeps going. We leave it off. Oh, that was so close. Leaves it to Rabiot. No, that's Pastore. To Di Maria. There we go. Zlatan. Yes. Yes. What a goal. Yes. 3-0. That pretty much sums up the game. Three goals to none. The passing is spectacular. Zlatan takes his time. And he puts that in back of the net. He is just a strong player. There's no way he can knock him off the ball. We're just going to park the bus now and wait to go on counters now. Because there's no point in going in hard and pressuring hard if they're going to score a goal. Because I want the clean sheet. Basel, we're trying to close all spaces. We won that in the air. 
We just have to keep up this defensive display. This might be cheesy, but I'm changing the formation to a 5-2-3. So, the player that will be coming out is Rabiot. Uh, he, he did very well, but we're going to have to put in a new center back. Marquinhos is coming in. And uh, this is so far the squad we have right here. And um, that's pretty much it. Just one change, and we change the formation to a 5 in the back. That's Delgado on the ball. He passes it off to Zufi on the wing. Kurzawa versus Zufi. Now Telmeni with the center. And we get that with Kostil. You can't take that ball away from him. Oh, that's a beautiful ball to Javier Pastore. Pastore to Zlatan. Zlatan is in. Zlatan, yes! And it's 4 0. The counterattack was real. And the plan is working out. Pastore with an assist. He's having an insane season. But this is why I love Zlatan is all by himself and he just, oh man, the power behind that shot is just, it's powerful. Look at that. Now, now it's Lucas. Oh, Lucas, beautiful job. Open it wide to Di Maria. Di Maria hasn't done a lot lately. And that is why, that is why he hasn't done a lot lately. Zlatan had a great game. He did his job. He's coming out now and we're going to put in Mbolo in his place. We're also going to take out Javier Pastore and put in Yuri Tilimans, but Ibra had an insane game. We finished the Champions League group stage strong as the group leaders. The objective is complete, and Zlatan, great job on his part. I want to see more of these performances in the future. Wolfsburg tied versus Porto, but either way, Wolfsburg takes the second place spot in the group stage. We're still undefeated in the Champions League. We got three wins, three draws, and we accumulated 12 points. Wolfsburg only got one loss, and they get second place with nine points. Training went well. Yuri Tilimans goes up to a 79, and he's just one rating away from 80. Now we move on to a game in the league, and this is a squad I've chosen. We have Kostil as a goalkeeper. Everything is changed around. Dignet comes in as a left back. Marquinhos is in as center back, paired up with Jimenez. And we have Vanderville as the right back. Matudis playing as defensive mid, Abio and uh, Tilimans as center mids. And we have Ronaldo on the right, and Bolo and Young up top also but we're gonna take out Ronaldo in the second half and put in Lozano to get some minutes uh oh Nice on the attack already the shot freaking hell Nice is going in hard okay Rabiot with Cristiano the ball was too long from Rabiot he still has a lot to work on but there's a shot from far and Nice is playing pretty damn well at the moment oh great ball to Cristiano he's in now he's frick what? Oh, we miss it. Oh my God, Rabio! How? Come on, this is it. This is freaking it. Cristiano Ronaldo against the world. Cristiano. Yes, baby. 1-0, 87th minute. The counterattack was real. I thought we were going to draw. And I think if you draw in the league cup, I think you just get eliminated. So I was freaking out. But Cristiano Ronaldo, no one could catch up to him. Thank God no one did. Oh, This was a very tight game. Ronaldo came through, he scored the goal, but I have to admit that Nice had a great game. They had a lot of opportunities, but they couldn't score. Uh, but I'm happy that we're through to the next round of this League Cup. And uh, we are going to be facing Nice in the next game that we actually do play in the league. But we move on. We win this game 1-0. Ibra scoring the goal. We get the three points. Ariel got a yellow card, but that's pretty much it. But we have a ton of players we might be losing if we don't sign new contracts. You have Ibra, Gregory Vanderville, Ezequiel Lavetsi, and Traore. So I'm going to have to go to player contracts and offer them new contracts. Because I don't want Ibra to leave for free. Ibra wants one year, 300k. Crucial first team player. That's what we're going to give him. Lovetsi wants one more year. You know what? I don't know if I should re-sign Lovetsi because we're going to get rid of him in the transfer window. So I'm not going to re-sign him yet. Uh, I'm just going to move on to Vanderville. I do want to keep him. He wants 140k. Damn it, man. They just want bumps and raises. Holy crap. And uh, I'm not going to specify his role in the club. Traore wants three years, 8k. Might as well give him that. I mean, he's not going to play any games, but 8k is nothing. So... Might as well give him what he wants. Ibra accepted the contract. Chayore accepted it. And so did Vanderbilt. So we all have these players under contract 
for at least the next year. Last game of the episode is versus Nice. We have to win this because if we don't, St. Etienne will keep first place. They have one more game played than us and they have 44 points. So we need to win this game if we want first place. Now before we go into the last game of the episode, we only have four days until the transfer window is open. So I do have some players I want to get in mind, but if you guys want any players, leave a comment down below. Please let it be realistic and uh, I'll try to go for them. So here we go. I didn't make a lot of changes to the squad. I just put in Vanderbilt to play as right back because Ariel had a yellow so I didn't want him to get booked and miss a match. So we might as well uh, keep it safe and let him uh, on the bench today. And we also put in Matuidi uh, in for Pastore. Verratti is playing as a center mid. So let's do this boy. Oh, Nice is on the ball. We know how good they play. The shot is deflected and that goes out for a corner kick. We're, we're doing well defensively but Nice is just keeping most of the possession. Oh, that's a good ball. The shot is there. Nice. Fuck, man, they're good. David Luiz, he tried. I mean, David Luiz tried. 1-0. We're losing, man. We're dropping points already. Come on. Shot. Oh, it's off. It's deflected. That was a great shot from Ronaldo to pair up with Vanderville. Ah, oh, Ronaldo. Ah, oh, my God. We could have drew it right there. Jesus Christ, man. <sighs> Lucas, fuck. Stop. That is it. We drop points, we stay in second place, St. Etienne takes first place, and they're just doing really well in the damn league. Second loss of the season, and it's versus Nice. <sighs> Very disappointing, but if you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to slap a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. Comment who I should sign in the January transfer window. I'm disappointed that we lost, but what are you going to do? We tried our best, and we had the opportunity to draw the game, but we couldn't get the goal. But that's pretty much it. I'm Quicken. See you guys next time. Peace.